Hey guys, MB Prepper here. Another blade review. This time on a fun little toy I picked up. The third of the line that I picked up of Cobra Steel. They're made by Windless Cutlery, which is out of India. They make a lot of weapons for Atlanta Cutlery and Museum Reckless Limited. They have come out with a modern line, if you will, of blades that are reinterpretations of classic lines. Uh, the Falcata, the Copas, Kenjal, etc., etc. This one is the Cobra Steel Laconia. Laconia is, of course, Sparta. This is the modern interpretation of the Spartan short sword, unlike the one you will probably see on 300. But uh, this is basically a high carbon steel version of an old Greek sword. A little shorter than your standard Greek swords, the Spartans made them a little bit shorter to be, quote, one step closer to the enemy. So, very nice little blade. Picked it up, I think I got it last week. Um, got the Kenjal on back order. Ordered them both. Got this one in. Been wanted this for a long time. Just thought it was cool. You know, not going to be an EDC blade by any means. Or probably not something I'm going to carry out in the woods, but just a cool sword to own. I just thought I had to have this thing. So, gorgeous blade. Nice finish on it. Not quite a mirror finish, but darn close. You can see the reflection of the stand for my camera there, and we'll see if there's the lighting above, etc. Very nice blade, very well weighted. Um, comes reasonably sharp from the factory. Not razor sharp, not shaving sharp, but uh, combat sharp, I would say. This would be ready to use for whatever you want to in the brush, or if your phalanx falls apart and you get into hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah, this will do the job. Full tank, which is great. You see that there? All the way. Hard, rubberized grips there. Very nice, very grippy. Reasonable design on it. Not the most textured in the world, but is perfectly fine for wet hands, etc. Um, got the Cobra Steel emblem right there. Blank on the back side. Of course, you can get these customized with your initials and all if you wanted to. I did not do that. Don't know why, I just didn't. Might get one later. But uh, nice blade, very sharp, incredibly sturdy. This thing kicks butt. This is just cool. High cool factor. Now, obviously, I've got some hand prints on it just from handling the thing, but very shiny there. You can see that right there. That is just gorgeous. Stats on this thing, it is high carbon steel, but I do not know the exact style or type of steel. Just couldn't find it listed. Didn't look real hard. Overall, it's 20 and a half inches long, 14 inch blade on it. The edge starts right there, right at the edge of the Cobra Steel. So it's not sharpened down in here. The width, they listed on the website at the widest part here as two and three sixteenths. I measured it myself, it looked closer to just two inches. I don't know. They said two and three sixteenths, so we'll go with two and three sixteenths. Weight on this is one pound seven ounces, which makes it very light in the hand, very quick. Gonna get whatever type of job done you want. Very nice, very durable. This is gonna be quite the beater blade for me. Price tag, um, I thought was fairly reasonable. For the quality and the size of this thing was $60. I think it was five or six dollars more for uh, custom engraving for initials or whatnot on it. Just didn't opt for that. Love this so far. Have not used it yet. The sheath is decent. It's not as nice as my Condor line, but I'd say I'd place it maybe a little bit better than some of the Cordura sheaths out there. They describe it as heavy leather. Um, it's heavier than a lot of your Indian Pakistani blades, I'd say, but uh, it's not heavy as in Condor tool and knife heavy. Black, obviously. Lots of rivets all the way around for a little bit of bling there. That's not exactly historically accurate, but I think that's just cheaper and easier to make. Just your standard belt loop on the back side. Secured with some fairly decent stitching. I think this is going to hold up to fairly decent use. Not the finest sheath in the world, but again, you're paying for the blade. You got uh, copper steel stamped in the leather right there. So, nothing wrong with the sheath. Could be a little bit better. Rivets are okay. A little flashy for me, but whatever. This is what I want. I don't care what this looks like, personally. Not for something like this. Kind of a toy, if you will. 
uh, a toy for boys that can be seriously used if needed. Fits in the sheath very well overall. There you go. That's it in its complete form. Very secure. That's not going to slip out by any means. Fair amount of retention because of the inside of the leather texture on this big long blade. Well, not big long, but long compared to your standard knife. So that's not going to fall out, so it does not need any kind of upper clasp or anything like that. Reasonable to come out of the sheath. Like I said, pretty decent retention there. I like this. I like this a lot. Can't wait to get some property to run around and chop stuff up. Neat stuff. Again, would I say this is a survival blade by any means? Anything like that? No, it isn't. This is a short, in close, close combat short sword. It's an actual short sword that's old classic in a new design. Like this a lot. Like I say, gorgeous blade. Just gorgeous, as are the rest of them. I've got the Copas and the Falcata. I love that Falcata. I've used that one a fair amount. That Falcata makes a great defensive tool and woodcraft tool in my mind for something on the larger sort of machete size blades. Um, they all come in at about 60 bucks except for the Jambia knife. All of the Cobra Steel line is roughly 60 bucks if you find them, unless you find them on sale, which they don't offer very often. I did get one of them on sale. I believe it was the Falcata. Check my older videos. I've got vids of the Falcata and the Copas. And uh, like I said, I've got the Kinjaw on back order. I might not order if I do it was on back order because I'm impatient. Either way, nice blade. Maybe not for everybody. Definitely not the primary survival style blade or prepping blade, but darn it, this thing is cool. Highly recommended. Andy Prepper, out.